What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another Swatch review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. So today I am partnering up with Beatles Gel to show you guys their Mermaid Mantra Gel Nail Polish Set. And this is one that a bunch of you guys have told me I absolutely need to try. All of the colors are just like very much in line with my particular preferences. So I was really excited to get my hands on the kit. But before we talk about that, let's talk a little bit more about Beatles Gel. So Beatles is a gel nail polish brand that is available on Amazon and they are nine free, meaning they're free of nine of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish, which is actually pretty uncommon for gels. So I really love that about this brand. They are a gel brand, meaning that you do need to cure them under a UV or LED lamp in order for the nails to actually set because they don't dry by air. But I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the lamp that I'm using as well, because that's actually an exciting one that I ordered. But yeah, talking about this kit this is the mermaid mantra kit and it actually has a ton of stuff in here so we've got 20 mini gel nail polish bottles so they're all five milliliter bottles we have a full size base coat top coat and then also a matte top coat there are six different types of glitters in here that you can use with your gels there's also three nail art brushes and a set of mermaid stickers so there's really a lot going on in here but i'm mostly excited about the polishes themselves because all of the colors are like the super mermaidy range. They're like the pink, the blue, the purple, the green, and it's just right up my alley. I totally love that. So I actually used a peel off base coat for my swatches. So if you guys are interested in seeing me actually peel them off, that's at the end of the video. But if you do want your nail polish to last, I recommend using the base coat that comes with the kit because that is not a peel off that will help your manicure last for the amount of time that gels last. But I am also curing in between each layer of the swatches with the LED lamp. I'm using this one from Beatles and the really exciting thing about it and just so you guys know I have a ton of lamps but when I saw this one I absolutely had to order it because for this very specific reason it has a cell phone stand on it so you can watch YouTube videos while you're waiting for your nails to cure. So I just thought that was really cute. I'm gonna link it down below. But yeah, other than that, it's just a nice standard lamp. We've got all the buttons up here so you could just do the manual power or you can do 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or 90 seconds of curing. And it does have a little timer on here as well so you can see how much time you are under the lamp. But yeah, we've got a lot of polishes to swatch today so let's just dive right in and roll footage. So like you saw in the intro, each of these bottles has a little color-coded sticker on the top that says the number of the polish since these aren't named and it also shows you a little preview of what the color is so I'm just going to go in number order here like I said the polishes are not named they are numbered so this first one is called 850 and we're starting off in all of the pinks and this first one is a super nice soft pink cream shade and the cool thing about this one is it kind of leans like a little bit neon pastel so it's softer like a pastel shade but it still has that neon intensity and I thought this one looked pretty decent in two coats but I ended up doing a third just to see what that looked like and I thought that I got a lot more vibrance of that color. With a lot of the polishes in this collection I feel like I could get away with doing two coats but I end up doing three coats for a lot of these swatches just because I'm a little bit more forgiving when it comes to super affordable brands especially for a gel. Gel polish is not usually inexpensive but the these ones, as you'll see when I talk about the price at the end, are super affordable. So I feel like I'm more willing to do a third coat when it comes to super cheap brands. Next up we have shade 851 and this one is another pinky color. This time we're looking at this sort of almost iridescent pinky duochrome gold shimmer shade. Now there are a lot of shades like this in the kit and the really cool thing about them is you can wear them as a topper over any of the other colors and it would look really cool but I did want to show you guys swatches of what each of them looked like on their own because that's another really cool way to wear them so again I liked the way that this one looked in two coats I like the visible nail line look but I also wanted to show you guys what that looked like in three coats and it is really gorgeous it's technically not full coverage because you still see a tiny touch of that visible nail line but I would still say it gets full enough coverage in three coats that it can be a full manicure this way 
Next up we have the shade 852 and this one is veering into hot pink territory and this time we've got a really nice silvery shimmer running throughout. It also has little silvery specks that catch the light so beautifully. This one was actually really impressive in terms of opacity. Now I liked the way that it did look in two coats. I'm gonna say that a lot during this video because I do like wearing most of these as two coaters but I also want to show you guys the option if you have longer nails and you need a third coat you you can always do that but yeah I thought this one looked really gorgeous in two coats it still had a little tiny bit of that sheer feeling to it so I ended up doing a third coat honestly I think in this case I did prefer it in the two coats than I did in the three coats because I just like that sort of softer look but if you really want that color payoff to be super intense and you don't want any of that nail line showing through it also looks really gorgeous in three coats and again just a reminder I am curing in between each layer so the final look is fully cured all of the layers. Next up we have the shade 853 and this one is a really interesting orchid sort of color that definitely leans a little bit more on the purpley side. It actually has a little bit of that neon vividness to it but the cool thing about this one is that it's actually a jelly polish. So you guys know I have been loving jellies especially lately and I love that they are on trend for this season. The cool thing about jellies is you can kind of decide what color you want the final look to be based on how many coats you do. So I always joke that having a jelly is like having multiple polishes in one because you can either do like a really sheer wash of color with one coat, you can do a nice soft jelly look with two coats, or if you want to get a lot of saturation on that color, you can always put on a third coat or even a fourth coat if you're feeling a little crazy and you can get full coverage that way. So I ended up showing you guys what each of those coats look like. Here it is with the third coat on and I just love the color of this again it has that sort of neonness to it and it's just so bright and beautiful I absolutely can't get enough of it but it's also got that very squishy jelly like feel as you can see I just kept on popping back and forth with it because these do cure by lamp and not dry by air you can take as much time as you want to perfect them next up we have 854 so we are slowly making our way into the purple shades with this very purple leaning periwinkle cream shade and this one is just another really gorgeous cream. It's super saturated so it doesn't look like a pastel kind of color. It's just a very vivid version of that periwinkle purple kind of shade and it did give me full coverage in two coats. I think this is a very beginner friendly brand just because the application is super easy. It's very self-leveling and the majority of the colors are opaque enough that you can wear them in two coats. So here it is. Two coats fully cured. Absolutely stunning shade. Next up we have 855 and this one actually pleasantly surprised me because it is a scattered hollow jelly purple and I absolutely adore this finish. I wasn't expecting there to be hollow shades in here but I absolutely love the way that this one looks. It's super packed with hollow so it's very sparkly. It's hard to tell in my lighting but especially in the sunlight it looks so gorgeous. So here it is two coats fully cured absolutely stunning. Next up we have 856 and this one is a super cool toned deep royal purple shade and this one I would describe as a Crelly formula so it kind of sits somewhere between being an opaque cream and a sheer squishy kind of jelly shade but it actually did end up giving me full coverage in two coats which I thought was really impressive so on the first coat a little bit sheer on the second coat I was able to get that full opacity without any visible nail line and I just love how vibrant this color is. Next up we have the shade 857 and this one is a very pink leaning fuchsia shade that also has a silver sparkle running throughout and the sparkle in this is really interesting. It's like different shapes or sizes that it kind of just catches the light really perfectly and it looks so gorgeous on. It was two coats for full coverage and I absolutely love the way that this shade looks. Next up we have 858 and this one is actually a deep gunmetal silver glitter topper shade and I didn't realize until I started applying it but I wanted to see what it would look like if I could get it full coverage so I ended up doing two coats and I actually really liked the way that it looked. This is another one where those glitters in there are like different shapes and sizes because it's actually shards so it creates a really interesting look on the nails and the way that it catches the light is just really beautiful and fragmented so I just love the way that it looks in two coats. You can always
always try a third as well. Next up we have shade number 859 and this one is actually an orange jelly base that is packed with those gold metallic shard glitters in there. So a really interesting shade. Definitely wasn't expecting this one in the set but I love the way that it looks and it definitely has that sort of oceanic mermaidy treasure kind of vibe going on just because of all that beautiful gold. So here it is in two coats. Absolutely stunning. Next up we have shade number 860. So we are moving into the blues and there are actually quite a few blue creams in this set but each of them are pretty different which is really nice so you can kind of get your pick between what color you are interested in. So this first one is a really beautiful bright sky blue cream shade. You can see on the first coat it was a little bit sheer. On the second coat I did end up getting full coverage but as I tend to do I wanted to show you guys what a third coat looked like. I would personally just wear this in two coats. I thought it looked absolutely fine in two and I thought it's just a really pretty shade but just in case you wanted to see what it looked like with a little bit more coverage here is that. So shades like this are just really nice to have on hand and I feel like you could also definitely do a skittle with all of the blues in this set or really with any of the colors in this set. Next up we have 861 and this is another one of those sort of iridescent shimmery toppers but like I did with the other shades so far I wanted to show you guys what it looked like on its own as a full coverage shade. You can always wear it as a topper over any of the other colors in the set or really any color that you can think of but this one is a very bluish leaning shimmery color that also has a golden shimmer running throughout so it's a little bit of a duochrome vibe going on. It really catches the light so nicely but when you're not in the light it looks a little bit more pinky so it's just a very interesting color. I ended up doing three coats for full opacity. Next up we have number 862 and this one is another blue cream shade and it is similar to 860 but this one is definitely more on the turquoise side so you can definitely see a much warmer almost greenish undertone going on to it. It's definitely a very tropical color. Once again I ended up doing three coats for full coverage but I think I could have gotten away with doing two. I think it's just a really pretty shade. I love colors like this. I love having gel versions of the colors that I love to wear and I feel like the cool thing about this set is there's so many shades in here that are not like your typical especially from Amazon gel colors because I feel like you usually find so many of like the reds and the pinks but this collection is just so full of really beautiful blues and purples and stuff like that so just another really gorgeous color. Next up we have the shade 863 and I was really excited about this one because I feel like it looks to me a little bit like a gel version of Diamond rain. It's just a really gorgeous blue jelly that has this silver sparkling shimmer shard running throughout and in two coats it just looks so beautiful and mystical and just very very sparkly. So I absolutely love this one. It's just absolutely gorgeous on its own. Gives off very mermaidy oceanic vibes. Next up we have 864 and this is another one of those iridescent topper kind of colors. This one's actually the deepest color out of all of the ones. I really appreciate that they had a few different ones because it's kind of cool to be able to pick what kind of topper you want to put over which color but I also like this one on its own because it does have that sort of depth to it that you can make it into a full coverage polish. It's sort of like this deep teal blue jelly base that has this duochrome golden green shimmer running throughout and in three coats I thought this looked like such a beautiful polish. Again very mermaidy mystical oceanic vibes going on here. So next up we have 865. This one's another cream and this one I would say is definitely more of a turquoise leaning into a mint green kind of shade and this one was actually a really easy formula to use. I mean they were all easy formulas to use but this one was super opaque especially for being a light color. I thought that was really impressive. I ended up getting full coverage in two coats once again just showing you guys a third coat to see what it looks like and just to show you guys how opaque it can get but I really would definitely wear this one as a two coater. Again it's just a very nice summery shade. I feel like this would be so cool for some turquoise nail art and I just think it's really pretty on its own as well. So here it is in three coats fully cured. And moving 
moving on to 866, this is the last of the shades that I would classify as a blue cream. And this one definitely leans more of like a teal kind of blue cream. It's another one, just really easy formula. I love how self-leveling all of these shades are. Some gels are a little bit more difficult to work with when they're thicker, that it doesn't smooth out automatically on the nail as you're painting. But these shades definitely do. They're very easy to work with, which is why I always say it's a good beginner brand. But yeah, in two coats, it did give me really nice coverage. Again, I would just wear it as a two coater. I didn't even bother showing you guys a third coat of this one because I thought it looked perfectly opaque in the two and I really loved it. Next up, we have 867, and this one is a deep teal jelly that actually has holographic glitters running throughout. Now, I wouldn't call this one a scattered hollow because it just has these holographic glitters in different sizes, but it is so much fun. I love shades like this. Again, I know I keep saying it, and it is the Mermaid collection, but this really does look like a mermaid polish. It reminds me a little bit of Sinful Colors Nail Junkie, but I feel like it's just way more sparkly and chunky, so I totally love it. And finally in this set we have the last two shades which are greens and I am so glad to see them in this collection. I feel like it's extremely rare to run into a green gel polish. You guys know how I feel about green polishes. There are just not enough in the world. And this one is a really beautiful sort of forest green that has that jelly-like formula to it. So if you want you can wear it as a one coater and get that visible nail line which I absolutely love. I think is a very summery vibe. You can do it in two coats and get that fuller opacity. There's still a little bit of visible nail line there, but if you do want to cover up that nail line completely, you can do a third coat and it still has that really beautiful color payoff. Just a really smooth, super glossy color. And I say that even though I always recommend that you use a top coat regardless, but yeah, just a really impressive shade. And last but definitely not least in the set, we have 869 and this is the final shade that's sort of that iridescent shimmery topper that you can definitely wear on its own. This one has a very emeraldy kind of green jelly base going on and then that beautiful golden shimmer running throughout and it really turns into a sort of greenish shimmer underneath that jelly so it's really gorgeous. I wanted to see what it looked like in three coats and I was definitely not disappointed. It's super sparkly. It's really pretty. I was able to kind of take my time applying it because it is a gel so it doesn't dry by air so you can see how that ended up and it's really pretty. All right and here is the full set of polishes. My goodness there were a lot more than I even realized in this collection. There's so many different shades and I just love this whole color scheme like the pinks, the purples, the blues, into the teals, into the greens and then we also have that deep silvery color and then that super bright orangey gold treasure kind of color so there's definitely a lot to offer in this set. I really love the variety but I also love that they're all like within my favorite color preferences here. So those are the gels and I have to say I am really into them. I've very much been enjoying Beatles lately. I think it's a very great brand to get started with in terms of gels. One, because their kits really have everything that you need. It's also nice that you don't have to shell out for full size bottles. You can just get a bunch of little minis and it kind of helps you flesh out your gel polish collection without feeling like you have too much. And the brand is actually super affordable so I think that's another great reason. You can just pick them up on Amazon. So let's talk about the pricing. So the Mermaid Mantra Kit comes with everything, like I said, the 20 mini nail polishes, the base and top coats, the glitters, the stickers, the nail art brushes, and that retails for $32.99 USD on Amazon. And you can also use the code BEETLESGEL to get 30% off your order. So I will put that down in the description. As far as the lamp with the little cell phone stand on it, this one retails for $22.99. USD on Amazon. And again, I do have a discount code. You can use the code BEETLESUV to get 20% off. So yeah, overall, this collection is a serious win for me. I'm definitely getting more and more into Beatles the more I try it. And I just love their curated kits. I feel like all of the ones that I have so far are just really nice and kind of thematic. So I'm not stuck with colors that I don't like, which kind of happens with some other brands when they have like these huge kits. But it's just really cool to kind of be able to pick the themes that you like and go off of those. I also have their new Nude collection, which is just another nice set of curated polishes. Those ones are full size, but I absolutely love that one. I've used it on Amazon Live.
times a bunch of times, but yeah, I'll link that down below in case anybody is interested. But yeah, that is it for my review. I would love to hear from you guys. Do you have this kit? Have you tried beetles before? Are you into them? What are your thoughts? We can chat about it. Leave it in the comments. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Huge shout out to my cosmic admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Braxton Scott, Rainbow J, Kristen, and Jessica Taylor. I really appreciate your support and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Amberlyn, and Amberlyn wants to know if you could only choose one food culture to eat from for the rest of your life, what would it be? Actually an interesting question because I feel like my taste in food has changed pretty drastically in the last couple of years. I used to always say for sure Italian cuisine was my absolute favorite, but I genuinely could not tell you the last time I had Italian food. Although to be fair, just so you guys know, I am in the US. A lot of our food is very Americanized versions of everything. I haven't really been outside of the country, so I don't know what international cuisine actually tastes like. I only know like the Americanized version of it. <laughs> so that's actually a tough question to answer. I don't know. I feel like, I, I, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is a very tough question. I should have thought about this ahead of time. <laughs> I guess if I had to choose one to eat from for the rest of my life, knowing as little as I do about food from other countries, I would probably say Japanese cuisine just because I, I like the Americanized version of that food. I imagine that it's probably way better in Japan, so I choose that. But I'm curious to hear what you guys would pick so you can leave your answers down in the comments and we can chat about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! So at the end of all of my gel swatch and reviews, I always like to show you guys clips of me removing the gels because I use peel off base for my swatches and it's a little satisfying to watch them pop off. So here is that footage right here. Just keep in mind if you are purchasing this kit. It does not come with peel off base coat. It comes with regular base coat. So these gels are not going to pop off like this. So don't worry. It's just the peel off base. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night.